what I do is the straight part, I'm just gonna put it right here on my face. welcome back to my channel so i just did tutorial number one and i posted it where i did my brows now let's jump into tutorial number two of this pre-k makeup class i'm gonna be doing some eyeshadow and i'm not gonna be doing anything too crazy just simple eyeshadow and everyday look and that's basically it now if you're new to this channel please go ahead and watch the first video and i'm gonna put it right here and remember to subscribe because that's all we do on this channel we subscribe like comment and share now i am running into this video showing you guys the most what i use the palettes that i'm using now today my palettes are from yardy cosmetics featuring um the chat patwa palette and the pick me days palette so i'm gonna be doing two looks because i've of course i use two different product on each brow so this one was a brow pomade this one was a pencil and i'm gonna be doing the same thing with this eyeshadow palette just so you can have two different looks and what you're comfortable in using now of course i have my little makeup thing right here i'm still wanting a vanity for my birthday hint hint but let's move on into this tutorial all right so today i'm gonna be using three brushes my eyeshadow brush y'all can see and this is from zorea i'm gonna be using a blending brush and i'm telling you yardy cosmetics their um eyeshadows are so pigmented i use the blue eyeshadow and it is still on my brush and i'm gonna be using a crease brush and that's right here in the crease right here now i did go ahead and apply a base off camera and that's just using the same concealer that i use up here just pulling it down in this area so that when i put on my eyeshadow it it stays and it doesn't move now you can also use a white eyeshadow base eye, eyeshadow base that's what it's called yeah you can use that and um it works the same but if you do not want to purchase it the same concealer does the job all right i'm just doing it the simple way all right so let's get right into all right so i'm gonna be showing you guys a little trick so what i have is a piece of tape and i'm gonna be using the straight edge right here now remember what i showed you guys in lesson one about where your eyebrow should be versus the here of your eye i don't know what here is called but it should be in that line now what i do is let me look in my mirror because it's easier that way what i do is the straight part i'm just gonna put it right here on my face so that when i apply my eyeshadow and my um eyeliner it stays right there it doesn't move and that way i don't have to go in and trying to correct it it's already gonna have that straight look and you can i mean you don't want to make it look crazy but you basically can see the look that you're going for no don't stick yourself don't do anything crazy it's just like that so when you put on the product you don't have to you know be watching where you put the brush or whatever you just put on the product because once you pull the tape off it's gonna have that bomb ass line all right thank me later all right so let's get right into it now because i have the normally i would put this put the tape on before I put the product, but I don't know why I did that, but I, I, we work with that. We work with that. All right, so let's get into it. So what I'm gonna do is, um, as I said, I'm gonna be doing just a normal, neutral, natural look. 
so i am gonna go with my picnic days palette from yardy cosmetics as i said before and i'm just gonna go in with some brown um color because i want like a brown with like an orange undertone and like some black right here so i'm gonna be using um marbles talking see so i'm gonna be using this this and this maybe with a little shimmer too so i want the marbles in my crease so this is why the mirror is so important because um when i'm looking down i'm sorry i just got an order so i'm like when I'm looking down, I can see exactly what I'm doing. So the crease, if you have bold eyes like me, it's easy to tell your crease. Because once I close my eyes, you can see exactly where the product. But just dab a little bit and you just tap in the crease. And the crease is where you, where, where you close your eyes. No lie, I said that wrong. The crease is that little part right on top of the eye what do you call that the eyeball <laughs> that's the crease and when you're putting in the product you can you can tell too no as i said in my first video i hate to use a lot of product because it gives me anxiety so as y'all can see i'm just taking my time and just putting that product in the crease and I'm just going back and forth with my brush. Can y'all see that? Not a lot because I'm doing this look for every for people who are, you know, going to work and they just want a natural everyday look. There you go. And this brush actually says crease. So there's nothing to really think about. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use the word, use the word, use the color um, B word, this one. And I'm just going to tap it in on the remainder of the brow. Nothing too particular. Now because I still have on these crazy lashes, sometimes it gives me hell to apply my product but just make sure you put the product all over the eye and meet the color that you have at the crease and you just do it like that now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use my crease brush again and i'm just gonna take some take take some light shimmer maybe this one i'm gonna use this one this one this one is called one two three red light and i'm just gonna put it up here and this is optional you don't have to do this but i'm obsessed with glitter and i as i said i like taking um selfies so i think once i put the glitter on it makes my eyebrow just pop and this is like a transition color from the crease color into my um concealer now the correct way to do this really is just to go in circular motions but sometimes the circular motions gets out of control and, and i don't want i want people to see my concealer right here the transition color the brown and the orange can y'all see that now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the same brush right the same eyeshadow brush and i'm gonna go in with some sorry i'm gonna go in with some black that's called cookie jar and it has a light shimmer in it i'm just gonna go in with that this part is completely optional as well and i'm just gonna put it right here i don't know i like that smoky eye effect when i'm wearing my eyeshadow so not a lot i'm just putting it right here and i'm using this same brush just to blend it in now the trick about doing eyeshadow is blending you don't want any harsh line you don't want anything to look out of place so get your blending brush and just go in circular motions and remove any harshness that you're having
now as i said this look is for my people who you know work in those industries where you can wear makeup but not too extravagant i think this works perfect it's a little brown my daughter says it looks like a little sh sunset too so i think this look is perfect now on this side i'm gonna be a little bit more extra and that's basically it for that side as i said this is makeup um pre-k style so nothing too boom all right so in this palette i want to do something purple and this is a chat patwa palette so i want to use the walk one and i want to use walk good i, I want to use though i and maybe i'm going to use some other way i go as well just to like a transition color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my um crease brush and i'm gonna go in with my walk good into the crease And some look, it just don't need a lot of makeup, to be honest with you. Some, I mean, it depends to each his own, but I'm just doing this really light. And Yardi Cosmetics palettes are very pigmented, pigmented, so you really don't need a lot. And I'm holding the brush wrong because I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. Let me put this down. So, just in the crease. Y'all see that? Now, I'm going to go in with the transition color, the white way I go. And, I'm just, and it's a little glitter too. And I'm just going to glitter up right here. And as I said, this is just my transition color because I hate seeing harsh lines on people's face. So what this does, it removes the harsh line of where the purple started. And I'm just gonna blend it in. How does that look? My tape is lifting, but I'm just blending that in. Now, what I'm gonna do I don't like to mix my um, brushes, so I'm going to use another makeup brush. I always tell people, try to have two set of brushes. It's really up to you, but I'm going to use this other um, brush that I have, and I'm going to go in with the Wagwan, and I'm just going to tap it in. And you don't want any, you want to make sure all the, the, the part on your eye bro is covered in eyeshadow. Because what you don't want, and become my eye big, take a lot. And I'm gonna say it again. That's why having a mirror is so important because when you look down, you see exactly what you're missing. And this is a shimmer color. And you can see normally shimmer takes a long time to get pigmented, but you can see how pigmented this is. And I just normally pull the skin down just to see what I'm working with. I am going to take some more of the walk good and just put it right here. Because it's like I'm still seeing some spaces there. And sometimes it's because you haven't blended your product properly. Alright. So y'all can see that. Now, what I want. Let me see if I have a dark purple no what all right you guys so i did grab my other palette which is the island girl palette and i'm gonna use this color the slimmers to just put right here where i put the black 
So I'm just gonna take my brush and just get some of the slimmers and just pat it in right here. That looks perfect. That's the color that I was going for. Because you are this, I just use what four different colors. But if you look good, you you have to look really good to see the transition or to see that oh, it's really four colors. So you want to just bring it out on the lid and just tap it in. Make sure where you have your tape, it has enough color because that's you want that's the look that you're going for when you have when you remove the tape. You want to see that line right there. Can you guys see that? And the this this thing is so pigmented. I love it. I love dark colors. For anybody who knows me know that I love dark colors. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do now is use my blending brush and just blend out any harshness that comes to mind. I'm just blending it out. And it's not removing it, it's blending in the product. So you guys can see the three different colors, the shimmer, the purple, the glitter purple, and this dark violet looking color. This is the orange, the brown, the glitter, and the black. All right, so that's basically it. Now, if I was going for a more glam look, I'm looking down because I want you guys to see the gradient of the colors. If I was going in, if I was doing a more glam look, I would, you know, keep adding more product, but I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. I can't stress that enough. I am gonna go in with some, um, where you say, right here to see if I can brighten this orange a bit. Like something is telling me to just, brighten this little sunshine some more y'all see that and i'm not too worried about the lid lid like right down on the lid because the lash is gonna go there you're not gonna see anything like i'm just showing you the real real basics of wearing eyeshadow and blending so what do you guys think all right so now let's get into the hard part i'm gonna get my lashes and i'll be using the glue from um duo it's called duo glue i'm also using a highlight a highliner an eyeliner <laughs> so this is the glue duo and i'm gonna be using this eyeliner as well now this part i'm not good at but i just wanted to give you guys a complete look on eyeshadow so let's get right into it now this these lashes i've used them so much time so i'm gonna i'm just gonna add the product to it and i'm just adding the glue to it and i i'm not going anywhere normally i do like two coats but i'm not going anywhere i'm just doing this video wipe my face off take a shower and go right to bed so I really don't need more than one coat. All right. Now that, yes, that glue goes on white, but I guarantee you this is the best because it sticks, it gets tacky, and it dries clear. That is awesome because I didn't want to use, because I'm just learning this, I didn't want to use the hair glue sometimes i'm telling you when i'm doing these lashes it feels like i'm about to blind myself i kid you not so this when i learned of this glue it was a perfect one to use and i just make sure the strip is really coated with the glue Although Mr. Menango no, I'm gonna see me still have to turn a lot of glue, right? I think I'm just OCD. I didn't know I'd really be wearing strip lashes, to be honest with you. It's something that I've never seen myself doing because I'm always late. I'm always just hurrying. So it takes a lot of time and I'm still putting on a second coat. Lord help me. I'm just gonna let this dry. Then I'm gonna put it on. And it's harder to put on because I have on these extensions. It's very hard to put on, but 
I'm trying to, you know, work with it. It's very, very hard. All right, guys. So my lashes are drying. So I'm gonna just let them be. This one go on this eye. Yeah. No, this one go on this eye. Now, some people, they use um, tweezers. I'm afraid I stick my eye out. So, I'm just use my finger and just... Better me dig out my eye with my finger than with tweezer. Hey, y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying this video so far. Thank you guys so much for the love. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and turn on your post notification. This is the hard part. I hate putting on lashes. I want to learn a technique where you put it here and you just stick the lash on. But I'm kind of afraid. Alright, so I'm just going to put this on now. Now, this part you guys don't have to take from me because I'm literally just learning by myself. Doing it like this, it is so hard because I'm sitting down. I normally just get up and go to the bathroom and put it on. But I want to show you guys. And as I said, I'm afraid to use the tweezers. Yes, it may be easier with the tweezers, but I'm a chicken. I am a chicken. So I'm just going to use my spoolie because I have on the other lashes and just blend everything in. Just push it down on it. I mean, this could and dry some more, but yeah, I get the gist. This one is already dried. Oh my god! Let me hold it up. Now, what I like about these lashes, or maybe I'm not even the lashes, maybe I just my eye. Because my eyes are so bold, like me not have to cut, me not have to do not me just put on and go. And I'm just gonna until these things come off, the additional lashes. This is what we're working with, and I just like to go in and just make sure the ends are secured. And so me look like handicap. Because we need to secure the ends, baby. So, yeah. That's basically it. No, what we're going to do, we're going to... I don't know if I like to use this. I, I really don't. Let me not lie. I don't like using it. But I like the look that it gives. And I'm still trying to learn. I mean, I know I want to do the whole wing thing. But I'm still trying to learn. So, sometimes, like, when I'm hurrying, if the, if the lash... Now put on properly, me just go ahead with this, but I really don't think I need it, to be honest with you. I really don't think I need it, so I'm just going to leave it like this. And I'm just going to pull my tape off. So you guys see what I'm talking about? You see that this already gives it that wing look. So I don't want no, no eyeliner. Look at that. telling you the tape makes it so much easier y'all need to do this it's so much easier and it makes it look so perfect let me know what you guys think like this is the bomb just get a roller tape and use it as your makeup tape it's the bomb so you don't have to go and clean up anything you don't have to do none of that Right? You just go in with your tape and everything is set. Yep. What do you guys think? I'm wondering if this look is a bomb. Like, 
lashes on fleek yeah mm -hmm. my nose is stripping so i don't know if i want to do the full face as yet but like when we do my eyebrow and stuff maybe i should what you guys think but yeah look at those lashes and brows now y'all see what i'm talking about with the the contour not the contour with the concealer like you can't really see it but in the you can see that pop that i'm talking about no i love my eyes because they're so bold and they're seductive. <laughs> but yeah let me know what you guys think i think i'm gonna go right in to doing the full makeup i'm gonna charge my phone though thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys have any questions i'm loving this look you see sometimes god works everything out in mysterious ways because the other one did not come out so bomb so i am really proud of myself so i think i'm gonna just shoot the full face and then just be finished with this series so stick around for the next video guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye